Real Survivors with me, Leslie Coors Mather. I believe that hearing people's inspiring stories is really powerful, and today I'm very excited um, to have my guest, Boaz. Come on in, Bo. How you doing? Good. Good. Um, have some milk and cookies if you want. Cute. But I wanted to hear, um, I wanted to actually share your story and hear from you kind of what your perspective on your story is. When you were just three years old, you actually drowned in a pool. Yeah. And yet now you're here, you are, you're 11 now, right? Mm -hmm. And here you are alive and well. And that is to me the definition of a real survivor. Um, do you remember anything about that day? Being three years old, you were so young. Um, yeah, I just remember uh, I went into the pool yeah. to grab a little toy gun that I saw. The gun was in the pool? Yeah. Okay. And I crawled in, but I didn't know how to swim. Oh, so were you reaching for it and then kind of fell in, you think, maybe? No, I think I actually crawled You actually in. got in to get yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's the last thing you remember? Yeah. And then do you remember waking up in the hospital? No. So do you remember how the story goes? Like what your mom told you about? Yeah. What happened? Can you share any of that? Yeah. Um, my mom told me that she walked outside and saw me in the pool. Yeah. And she took me out and I don't think they got a pulse, but then my mom started to pray. Mm. And she said that she saw my spirit come back into my body. So she kind of knew. Yeah. Wow. I'm getting emotional talking to you about it. I remember, I'm friends with Bo's mom, and I remember the phone call. And the way your mom described it, she jumped over the fence. Yeah. Because we moms have superpowers when our kids are in trouble that, you know, we can't explain. And what she told me is that somehow... When you were in the pool, you knew enough to flip up. Because if you were facing down in the pool, likely it would have not had a happy ending, but somehow you knew enough to flip over and your mouth was up, even though you were officially pronounced drowned, right? Mm -hmm. And I just think it's incredible that um, you survived something like that. And so what I wanna know is um, how that's changed your life and how, how that makes you who you are today. Any ideas? Uh, no. Do you think about it very often? Well, I have some dreams here and there. Hmm. Do you dream about that? Yeah. You do? Do you wake up feeling bad or is it a good thing? Uh, well, I just feel like I have a dream and then I wake up like it just happened. Oh. Does it feel like trauma, like something no. scary? Oh, wow. So you have peace when you wake up? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Anything that you want to share about the dreams? or? Um, it was all just like memories of it. And you love the water today. Yeah. Like that's one of your favorite things still. Yeah. That's kind of incredible, right? Mm-hmm. Like I think you're doing water polo or? Yeah. And you love to swim and you did junior lifeguards and that's your favorite thing to do, right? Yeah. In the water. That's kind of cool and crazy at the same time. Um, okay, last question. What could you tell people um, to inspire them or to make them, I don't know, how, how could you let people know that everything's okay? Or wh what advice would you give people about? Just pray to God and hope that everything would be okay. Yeah. Okay, I love it. Have a cookie. <laughs> I'll have a cookie too. Thank you for being on the show and thank you for watching Real Survivors. I would love to hear your story and share it with you. So if you direct message me on Facebook or Twitter, um, I'll get in touch with you and hopefully have you here on the show. Thanks so much. I'm a survivor.